Okay, you guys, I want to talk to you about the idea of cheating, that I'm a cheater, and why I say I'm conditioned not to cheat. Um, I think it would have been, I don't want to say I would have been a cheater, but I think it would have been far more likely for me to have cheated by now if I, if sex with strangers didn't turn me off. Um, because of my background of getting attacked by various strangers, um, I, I need to trust you and care about you in order to enjoy sex with you. And I also don't really like, just on a, a side outside of trauma, I don't really like to hook up with friends um, because it just complicates things and it's like a waste of a friendship. Nor do I really particularly like to hook up with people that I work with, people that I'm going to see every day. <laughs> like, so there's a lot of departments that I'm like, no. Um, and I think that by now I probably would have cheated. Um, well, I mean, I don't know that, but it would just be a lot more likely. Uh, I guarantee you this, though, it would be retaliation for someone cheating. I think the only time that I could... I don't... I feel too bad. Uh, look, I was cheated on when I was little, and it was, like, devastating to me when I was, like... 17 and I was so hurt from that that I never wanted someone to feel that way because it was just so bad and actually someone was just telling me how when someone cheats on you it your brain looks at it it's the same it's the equivalent to death so it processes like your partner has died and so when you see them walking around you're like in shock someone was just telling me all about this and I'm like dude that's exactly it's like that like I go into shock and then it's like they're a distant memory and the relationship's different now and everything is different now and something is dead and it's like it's like a whole thing you like you, you the innocence of your relationship the purity of your connection dies it can reform sure I guess but the other person killed it with not caring enough it's really brutal, it's really sad, and I don't have the heart to do that to my partner. Um, I don't. And so all I'll do is get mad and leave, um, and then that's fair game. And then I don't think after that, after you leave, it's anybody's business what you do. Because admittedly that I have left and then gone, you know, um, not, not often actually, but on occasion with an ex or something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I think cheating is really mean. I'm not built for it is what I'm saying. It doesn't, and I switch. I don't want to say, uh, I understand the polygamous mindset because essentially, you know, that's something that I grew up around. Um, and I'm not really offended by it, but I, the polygamous concept should have a whole lot of honor, integrity, and disclosure. And if it doesn't, I think it's really problematic and hurtful. And I didn't see that displayed. I saw not that displayed. And um, I just kind of think it's a little, it's both realistic and immature at the same time. And I think it's a little bit it's not very romantic. I think it's more practical than it is romantic, and I don't think it's ultimately practical. So, but but when I'm single, I understand that mentality. It's not to say that I can't have a bunch of options. It's just to say that I I'm not fucking two people at the same time. That's not what I do. That's not my deal. Um, but you know, when I'm single, I do like to keep options. Why not? Why wouldn't I? That's fun. I, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but so I'm just not built for it, um, to be a cheater, to answer your question. No. And unfortunately, I think my partners recognize this and take advantage of that. Mm. I think they're like, oh, she, she won't do that. Great. Then that's like less maintenance on the relationship that I have to worry about. Um. So that sucks. <laughs> Pretty much that sucks. Um, Alright. That's all. 
Because in hindsight, when I think about it, I'm like, damn, I should have cheated on that person because I found out later they were cheating on me, and I'm like, I should have. But as today, as it is now, have not. No. Um, and have I never even gotten close? There was only legit one time that I can think of where I was um, felt at all tempted to cheat and I uh, left myself in an area so that I wouldn't go near the guy. <laughs> I avoided it. Anytime that I think that there might be like I'm not really sure, I just don't show up so that that doesn't happen. Because it's mean really really mean just break up with the person then you can do whatever you want 